Okay, so it goes around this country. Let's go yeah. to the We are no, socialist no, no. country or a communist country. Hey, with I, I, was, I was born in Cuba. My parents were political prisoners in my own country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, exactly what will happen. You can't let this happen. Doesn't anyone notice this? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. I don't want you to ride. I don't want you to write to your congressman because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I don't know what to do about the depression and the inflation and the Russians and the crying in the streets. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. If the whole world got crazy, am I the only one around here who gives a shit about the wrong? You have the luxury of not knowing what I know. I want you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window Open it and stick your head out and yell, I'm as bad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore. So you may be wondering what's been going on with these January 6th detainees in the D.C. prison. So I was too. And as I was looking for information on them to kind of try and find out what, it, what, what was going on, I had stumbled upon the DOJ site, not stumbled upon, I showed up there and went ahead and started going through the charges, down the list. I went through about 70 or 80 of them. There were 600 there. But after going through about 70 or 80 and realizing that almost everyone was released on their own recognizance and the charges against almost everyone, even those that are still detained in many cases, were, were menial. We're talking menial stuff here. Trespassing, disorderly conduct, nothing outrageous, okay? Not one person in the entire thing was charged with insurrection. So I come across a Facebook post where someone puts in the comments this video from Cash Kelly the Streetlight, a YouTube channel that, that is owned, I guess, by Cash Kelly. I don't really know the full history of the channel. I never really was watching it before, but now I'm on it. And now I'm trying to get you on it because this is a channel that he will call into. And you can get some insight, direct insight, which is what we love here, as to what's going on inside that prison. So let's get, a, let's get some words from Cash Kelly as to what's going on in prison. This is about everybody that's locked up right now in D.C. jail. Literally, we're in the swamp. And the way that we're treated, I, I'm not kidding you, Guantanamo Bay gets treated better than we do. They're being treated like like trash they've been forgotten about they've destroyed people's lives my kids are scattered all over the place erica's having a rough time every person in here that's married and has children their kids are having a rough time their wives are having a rough time and all the while we're watching on the news as people who did the same thing and worse than we did last year were released and paid these people were paid for their mistreatment from our government our government looked out for them our current supposed president, uh, Joe Biden, he looked out for them. Remember last year when we were all upset that the country was on fire and it was burning? what they do? They gave them a bail fund where people could get bailed. Everyone in here has been denied bail. You can't get a bond. You cannot bond out of here. I'm just going to show you this quick clip from episode two of Sunrise.org talking about their comrades and how they need to fund these bail funds to get these criminals out of jail. Organizers on the ground need money right now. We gotta move that money to our comrades. Gabby's gonna redrop the, in the chat the four groups that are on the front lines of this fight. Um, Black Visions, Reclaim the Block, Louisville Community Bail Fund, and Dream Defenders. But so far, we're in perfect alignment. Okay, we're in perfect alignment. He's attributing it to, to the vice president. We're attributing it to these organizations. In the end, they're all in the same link, okay? They're all in the same link. All of this Marxism nonsense that goes on is all connected. BLM is connected to Antifa, is connected to Sunrise.org. They all want the same thing. The fall of the United States of America. So let's get back to Cash Kelly. He's going to give his account of what happened to Roseanne Boylan, the woman who was trampled. Court said she died of asphyxiation, which is a natural cause of death. It could be the truth, but it doesn't seem to be that way from those who are on the scene. Those who are on the scene seem to tell a different story. Cash Kelly's not the first time that I've heard this account, but it's good that you hear it from here. This way, at least you have all the information. You can make up your own mind. Um, she ended up getting trampled because the people behind are hearing that a woman's getting beaten, so they're pushing forward, and this lady's underneath it all. And when, I'm not, I'm not going to say no names, but somebody that I, that's in here with me, the 
video has already been came out of him dragging her out, dragging her out of the crowd, screaming, we need police. Because at this moment in time, see, people, you guys get the, the other side of it where you see the videos of people fighting cops. You didn't see everything that led up to it. And I don't know how many of you seen my video that's out there that shows the police throwing flash, uh, flashbangs into the crowd, shooting people with pepper balls and paintballs, and spraying people with mace all while we were just peacefully protesting. <laughs> Straight up bullshit, y'all. Hey, they've been throwing flashbangs. Shooting us for bullets. Look at that shit. Look at this shit. These are fucking American flags. American people standing out here protesting the right way. And we're getting treated like fucking, like we're not citizens. This is bullshit. That was actually an enlightening moment for me. Of all the different information that I've collected and different things that we've looked at and some of the things that I believe and don't believe, etc. One thing I didn't realize was that the flashbangs that were going on were actually before anything started. So it was a peaceful protest at this point when these flashbangs started getting thrown into the crowd. That matters. So I saw his video and I thought to myself, you know what? There's so much video out there, so much more than we'll because it's in the hands of Capitol Police at this point. But there's so much video out there. There's got to be a better angle on it. Well, there was. Are you okay? No, he got tear gas. Oh my god. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, China, yeah. You know? Okay, so it goes around this his head. Yeah. Yeah. Go to we are no, socialist no, country or a communist country. Hey, With I, I, was, I was born in Cuba. My parents were political prisoners in my yeah, own country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we know. I it's not what will happen. You right. can't let this happen. No, we not can't let this happen. What will happen? So maybe you didn't hear what that Chinese woman was saying. It wasn't as clear. You have to listen to it a couple of times to understand because the noise and everything in the background. But what she was saying is, I'm from China. You can't let this become a communist or a socialist country. Then the gentleman from Cuba felt like he needed to speak up to that as well and then explain that he was from Cuba and that the same thing. You can't let this become a socialist country. They know the perils of socialism and Marxism firsthand. They're not the idiot child in school learning this stuff as if it's a good thing, and this time we'll get it right. They know better. Go to Cash Kelly the Streetlight YouTube channel, like, subscribe, get, hit the alert for the bell. The fact that we have someone on the inside who can speak up and we can be alerted to find out when he wants to speak up is absolutely outstanding. The man's being charged with minuscule, he's being charged with the same nonsense, trespassing and whatever. This is no arch criminal. We need his input. We need to communicate. We need to organize. We need to know what's going on. Grant over. And like that, 